Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing another pick a card reading and today we are using Kipper cards. So this is a Geisha Kipper card and I'm not going to be reading it in the way it's traditionally meant but simply as a normal Kipper card uh, just so you know. And the question we are asking is have I outgrown them? Should we break up? Should I actually leave this person that I'm with? I'm in a relationship with somebody right now. I'm not so sure if it's going well or if it's, you know, if I should leave now before. Is it going to get worse? Is it something that's fulfilling for me? And can I actually be happy in this relationship? So um, we're going to ask uh, the cards to tell us um, the answer to the question. Have I outgrown them? Should we break up? All right, so we have four decks here, as you can see. They're Kipper cards, as I've mentioned. We have deck one, deck two, deck three, deck four. And uh, you can go down to the description box where you'll find the timestamps. And if any of you come to the video earlier and haven't posted it in the, in the comment section, then please post it there for me. Most of my videos are scheduled, uh, which means that I'm not actually available or not around when uh, the video goes uh, online, you know, when it comes online for, for, for you. And, um, and so I, I just can come to it much later, but if you come to it and you, and you are, see, you come to the timestamp and you, if you're able to come, uh, copy it and place it in the comment section, uh, that would be really great. For, okay, so thank you very much for, to all of you who do that in advance. And I'm going to start the reading now. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one here, uh, the question we're asking once again is, have I outgrown them? Should we break up? So let's see what this is about. Okay, there's a card that wants to, that's flipped over and I'm going to take it. Okay, it's the main person, the woman. Okay, I'm going to put this one out here as well. There's a pleasant letter. And there's one. Okay, so I definitely, these cards are fairly um, self-explanatory. And if I feel that there's a message uh, within that I'd like to channel to you, I'm going to give you that, okay? I, if I have a feeling uh, of something or the other. But right here, these are really positive cards. So no, <laughs> you shouldn't break up with them. Uh, there's definitely a chance where this can be resolved. It requires a communication. Perhaps you could actually write a letter to this person and explain what your needs are more clearly or explain what it is um, that what you think could be improved in the relationship. And uh, what I'm seeing here is that, oh, I see you can't actually see this card. I'm just going to adjust my lighting so that perhaps you, that's better. Is it better? Okay, so I hope that's uh, a little bit better. Oh, hang on. If I put this off. Okay, we'll leave it like this for the moment. It might be a bit grainy. Um, all right, but I, I would rather you see the cards and not have it, you know, a gl glared out. So basically, um, you were the one here who needs to take action. Um, and I feel that if you actually uh, communicate what it is that you need in the situation, that y your issues will be resolved and, um, you know, there is a potential for you to be uh, in a longer term relationship or uh, to be committed to each other thereafter. These, um, these issues, whatever that you're experiencing right now, whatever doubts you're having right now, it can actually be resolved and you can actually let go of it and you can work with it together, you see. So it's sitting with you right now, but if you share it with your partner, you will make it a problem or a um, a challenge that you could both work on together to resolve. And I see you having resolved that and working in harmony with each other, okay? Um, so as, as far as, I, what I want to say also here is that as far as your roles are clear, it's important sometimes to clarify your roles in a relationship, whether it has to do with domestic things or with the way in which one uh, expresses love 
or uh, in, in a way in which um, you simply deal with things, uh, just everything, okay? And and notice where you can compliment your partner and ask your partner to compliment you where you are unable to to do something or where you fall, feel that you fall short in terms of doing something and, uh, you know, a very... Uh, a uh, basic example of that is, you know, perhaps you don't like to knock nails on the wall, but your partner does. And so your partner does it as, as opposed to you. Perhaps you like to cook. So you, you know, do the kick, cooking. And these uh, roles do not have to be gender based. Uh, they need to be something that can be worked out between you two. But in order to do that, you need to have communication with each other. And that's the key here. All right. So that's your reading for today. Um, for those of you who've chosen the first option here, you definitely ought not to break up and no you have not outgrown each other in fact there's still a lot more growth here uh, that can lead you to resolving issues that you may have or working on a really fulfilling partnership so for those of you who've chosen the option number two let's see uh what's going on here uh the question is have i outgrown them shall i break up with them Shall we break up? Okay, so before I uh, answer this question, I just want to say that um, it's up to you to define or to discern rather whether your relationship is worth saving or not save, not worth saving and or not worth the trouble uh, to make it better. Most relationship can most relationships can be healed and can be made better. Uh, all right, but um, these are just asking these cards and it's it's more entertainment and playful. So, you know, if you're going to need to make a decision in terms of your life, obviously uh, don't trust that decision on one of the, uh, on a pick a card reading uh, by a YouTuber. Rather, you know, search within and see what's really right for you. So with that being said, um, what I want to say here is that there is a chance that this relationship can be resolved. But the the cards are telling me that the answer is no, no, don't continue with this relationship, because here it feels uh, very much like um, the motives of your partner or yourself is not um, within. It doesn't have it lacks integrity, and uh, there are other uh, issues involved here or other uh, criteria that need to be taken into account, which actually. Um, creates more challenges in the situation uh, so you might be in a situation where you have a child with the person and um, you are concerned about the financial aspect if you leave them and um, this is not something to be worried about um, that that's a very simplistic way of reading these cards though actually the most simplistic way of reading these cards is that somebody in the relationship is being deceitful so no you could, shouldn't continue the relationship then um, it's going to be it's going to be impactful on us on a young child, and uh, if you settle this uh, relationship or you divorce or you leave this person, um, it will bring you winnings in terms of financial winnings. So that's a very simplistic, literal way of reading these cards. So uh, yeah, what I want to say is that um, th there are there are other criteria involved. The, the the kid could also refer to you know other other things involved, ventures, criteria, businesses, uh, which actually will impact um, your relationship or might actually be more challenging for your for your relationship. So, um, yes, that can be worked out. And if it does, you can work it out to be beneficial for both of you, but it requires that work. But the advice here is to leave this relationship because uh, it, it is not serving your highest good. It's not working it's not it's not a relationship that um, has integrity it it brings you into a space um, of uh, or a level of energy or a level of vibrational energy that is not uh, yours 
and uh, if you want to pursue a path where you have more happiness and where you a path of integrity then it's best to leave this relationship because this relationship is not actually going to provide that with you however having said that i feel that you could actually work on this if you wanted to and and turn it around and the the sense that i get here um this is not from the card this is just what i feel is that for some of you uh, this person is not really aware of the fact that they are being deceitful or something. They just maybe are forgetful and so they forget to tell you things. And it's it's not that they have a deceitful nature. Uh, they don't. They just are, have a more kind of lackadaisical attitude or a more relaxed attitude and, and forget to tell you things or uh, don't tell you things because they don't think it's important. And, uh, and this is actually... Um, like they're behaving like a small child, you know, and they they not they're behaving quite immaturely. So let's put it that way, and um, and this is um, you know, uh, this is costing you money in some some respects. Maybe they're spending your money and not telling you about it, uh, and you have an arrangement where you know you could spend each other's money. And if you stop this uh, dynamic with this person, then you will be gaining something for it. So. If you stop this relationship, there's something to be gained from it. But at the same time, you could still work on it and see uh, what you can do. So I would say don't just leave this relationship, but see if there's a chance for it to, to work. Um, however, the advice here is is more like it, you'd be better off if you actually let it go. So, um, yeah, I know the cards are saying like one thing for me and then the, the feeling I'm getting is something slightly different. So I think there's just like this, you, there's probably more than one of you who's watching this and have chosen the option number two. And you probably have very different situations. And this is why I'm feeling like quite pulled in different directions uh, as to, you know, what does what do these cards actually mean? Because they don't really mean something by themselves, you know, they mean something in relation to you. So um, that is the energy I'm picking up, okay? So, um, yes, you know, I would say with regard to this deck, definitely make a decision by yourself and uh, look at where this person is being deceitful or with you just for your money uh, or behaving in an immature manner or perhaps um, uh, just being irresponsible and not telling you all that they need to tell you. Uh, what I don't, what I feel here, though, that is that there is love. Uh, with this person there is this person loves you and this person actually cares about you so it's not like they're trying to hurt you and it's not like they are trying to sabotage you in any way uh, or use you they're not trying to use you right um, th this is what I feel okay so anyway that's it for the, uh, option number two uh, for those of you who've chosen the option number three um, the question we're asking here today is um, have I outgrown them and should we break up? So there's the first card here. And it's a righteous matron. Uh, it's more like a rich girl. And then the second card is Guter Ausgang in der Liebe. Um, so basically a, a a good kind of a relationship or a good um yeah good love a, a, a good way of being able to express your love uh, or a good way in love and the next card is kuma und wieder wartigkeit okay so i think that and so this is worry and um yeah and difficulty uh, i could also be like some kind of stubbornness here um so here i want to say that you know um i wouldn't say that here you need to leave this re relationship or you've outgrown this person what i would say is that if you are in this relationship then uh, you need to actually put a bit more work into it you need to actually understand what is it about this relationship that um that what what is it that this relationship needs from me okay what is it that i can do to heal this relationship because what i see here is that there is this love and there's this good way of loving each other and you can go well with each other okay but um you know perhaps your your interests are not in 
the relationship as such. Maybe you just love this person, but you don't realize that the relationship itself also needs some work. The relationship is almost like another organic kind of um, living thing that works uh, on its own, you know? So it's not just about loving the person, it's also about managing the relationship. And I feel that in order to be able to do that, one of you in your relationship needs to, um, and since you are doing this reading, it's probably you, um, needs to actually look at what it is that you can improve in the relationship and what is it the, that the relationship actually needs you to do? Where is it that you need to adjust yourself in order to manage the relationship better? Where is it that you need to step outside of yourself and step a bit closer to this person that you love? And if you do that, you'll be able to find that you'll be fine with each other. I'm, I'm just getting various different scenarios. So there's like one of the scenarios I'm getting here is where there's a, a person who's very involved in herself and she's she's just, you know, involved in her own ambitions and things and she's very much interested in, in well-being and material well-being and she's not actually realizing that the relationship requires a much simpler handle. It's like, a, you know, she's like a bull in the china shop with regard to the... Um, uh, the love she needs to be a bit softer with that and uh, that her partner here or this could be another situation but the partner here is more prone to being depressed etc and uh she being quite um interested in herself no she's not self-centered but she's quite interested in self is not really uh, noticing that the partner has has difficulties and and has uh you know um difficulties going along in the relationship and if you if you could actually if if this person the first person here could actually step out of themselves and come more into the relationship then this person will be able to see the the struggles of the other person and you'll be able to come together in a way that is more beautiful and more uh, sympathetic to one another or more empathetic to one another having more compassion for each other and so this is something that i think that uh, you definitely don't need to leave this relationship it's not that you've outgrown them it's actually uh the other way around it's more like you need to grow some more uh in order to be in this relationship and to be happy in this relationship so i hope that message has helped you it's quite a specific message here and of course it won't uh, work out like that for all of you but uh, basically what i can take from this is that uh, you have this real good love here. You need to uh, be a bit more in the partnership to be able to understand what the needs of the partnership are and what the needs of your par partner is. And also to be able to find, to ensure that your own needs are being met in, in that. Um, although here you might feel like your needs are not being met, but the truth is that it's almost like you don't really understand what it means like to be in a partnership. It's like you are... Um, so you might take offense to this and give me a thumbs down. Uh, but um, basically, you know, this is not really for all of you, but it might apply to one of you. Uh, but here, it's like you too much on your own and not, and what, you're still in love with this person. You're still loving that person, but you're not really, you haven't really understood what it's like to actually be in a relationship, what it's like to share and compromise and be there for the other person. And um, your partner is struggling from this. It could also be that you are struggling from the, uh, with this and you are having the difficulty with this and that your partner is being the one who is not fully committed and not fully stepped into the relationship and more interested in pursuing material goals, etc. But there is still good love. So no, you shouldn't leave the relationship. Instead, work on it and try to get, um, you know, try to come to some kind of common ground with each other and uh, try to avoid worrying too much and um, try to avoid uh, going in a kind of downward spiral here in the relationship. Save it before it comes to that. All right. So I hope that's been useful. And um, yeah, let me know uh, what you think of that. All right. So um, moving on to the last deck here, the deck number four. Uh, once again, these are Geisha Kipper cards and um, they read in a slightly different way, but I'm just going to read them in the normal Kipper uh, card way uh, today, or the way I read Kipper cards, let's say. So the question we're asking is, uh, have I outgrown them? Should we break up? Okay. 
Okay, so this is a relationship which I see uh, there's many different factors at play here, but one of the things about this relationship is that uh, it can have a rebirth, okay? You can have a rebirth in this relationship, or you can choose. You're really at the crossroads. I feel like between all these cards, uh, these three, uh, these four decks here, you are the one who really is at the crossroads of deciding, well, should I stay in this relationship? And shall we have a new beginning, or should I move away? So I think that this relationship until now has made you sick. You know, it's literally cause you quite a lot of distress. It might be causing you physical uh, ill health. It might be damaging your well-being. And... It's like you've had some kind of intentions or some goals for the relationship which haven't really been uh, met. What they're saying here is that you could actually have some luck later. You could actually come to that a little bit later. It requires work. It requires time to invest in this relationship and this relationship could get better as it goes along but you really hear you could actually walk away as well and it would be okay um it is it's okay to walk away at this moment if you're not willing to put in the effort or you don't have the energy any longer to put in the effort um to make this thing work on the other hand you could make this thing work but there's no guarantee that it will be uh good in the long term not to say that it will not be good in the long term. Please don't get me wrong. Uh, but it would require work, you know, to get things on track right now. And so it you, you could actually make a clean break and walk away from it right now and recover and take better care of yourself and, you know, move on with your life. Or you could give it your all and work on it and rec recognize that it will take some time until you'll actually come to a good space in the relationship and that, you know, your luck might come a little bit later as opposed to earlier. And um, yes, I, I feel that uh, here, you know, I'm not reading this as in now, um, you know, past, uh, present, future, but um, I'm reading this in a more kind of organic way. I don't feel that the that the relationship will ultimately come to an end or that it has to come to an end. What I feel is that if you're not willing to put in the work or if your partner's not willing to put in the work, if you're not willing to like look at what the problems are and face them and actually work with them, perhaps seek counseling or seek some kind of other you know forms of uh, healing uh, for your relationship, um, you, you are going to have problems later on. And it, it's something that's going to be difficult for you to to deal with it's the ill health that you have is going to go deeper in you and it's going to impact you negatively so um it's important for you at this point to actually make a decision and um and see you know whether you are able to give it your all and work on it and whether you are willing to give this one more chance or whether you could just take a clean break from it and recover and recuperate and see where the world uh takes you then or where the universe leads you or how the wind blows at that point um so what is the answer here um i don't have a clear answer for you because what i'm hearing is that yes you know you could invest in it uh, or no you know you could just make a clean break and it's really up to you to make that decision it's not the cards are not telling me what i should do the cards are just telling me that you need to invest a lot and it will get better later not earlier and uh but if you don't do that then you're going to have uh, difficulties uh, later on and it's going to impact your health negatively oh um, you could, this could be your physical health or your emotional health your soul you know you might just lose your kind of um, desire your 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 lust for life your um, feeling of, of enjoying your life so um, that is your card reading. I just realized as I was doing this card reading that maybe it wasn't such a good idea to do this, but uh, I am going to post it. I'm going to upload it anyway, because I feel like some of the messages here uh, actually, um, you know, for some of you and it's relevant for, for you. Um, please don't hate me for uh, doing this. I thought it might be a good idea for those of you who are sitting, you know, at a crossroad wondering what to do with your lives and wondering whether you should break up uh, or not. Okay, so I hope that's been useful and I'm wishing you much love and um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.